Welcome back to Tectonica. My name is Nilaus and thank you very much for your support during the first episode of uh, Tectonica. This uh, just really encouraged me to play more, 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 and uh, so happy that you are uh, you are enjoying what you see. And uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to put the factory in this factory game. When we reach the location, the Victor, the Sparks said that there used to be a factory of a city-sized factory here. So let's try to make that to be a little bit true. And uh, let's switch back from this part here and then we can go over and start working so what do we need in order to make the first factory well the first thing we need to do is uh we need to go up here because this one has prompted us to go reach and see what's uh, what's at this location so let's figure out so we have a repair terminal it needs 500 uh, iron ingots and 500 copper ingots luckily we have that from our previous section so let's upgrade the terminal here we go. All right, let's see what we get of a prompt. This trying to reach out to a hundred facilities that might not exist anymore. A hundred facilities is a lot. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster cool. we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Have a look at some of the new stuff on your tech tree. Keep your eyes out for fragments, and let's get to work. Great. Deciphering this first signal by building power floors looks simple enough. I'm sure it won't be that many. I'm pretty sure. Terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. So, while... Well, uh... It's time to put those crank generators and mm. power floors to use, Breaker. To make plant matter frames, you'll need planters and threshers and they only run on electricity. After you grow and thresh Kindlevine, you'll need to thresh the Kindlevine stems it produces a second time to turn them into plant matter fiber. And then you can either craft the plant matter frames by hand or build an assembler to do it for you twice as fast. And that's a lot of new tech to activate. So if you haven't built a core composer yet, now is the time. Good. Is it my turn now? Thank you. Perfect. All right. So. What we now have is uh, we have the next big target is the plant matter frames. We're completely forgetting about this. This has nothing to do with what we're going to do right now. It also has, like, if you look in the log, uh, these ones are the ones that are active, uh, the ones that start. So we have automating the core placement. Yes, that's the core placement we need to do, uh, repairing the production. That's something we're going to be waiting with for a long time. And then we have some different signals uh, around the map, which will sort of give us hints about where to go. So those need to be then really different things in order to uh, to identify it. You can see here, process units uh, in assembler. Nope. Uh, this one is uh, craft and place a number of accumulators. Not going to happen anytime soon. Place an unknown number of power floors. This is when we'll get very soon anyway. And a uh, signal number of crank generators. So we need crank you generators. You might want to try crafting a few bio bricks. Are you seriously? They'll burn a lot longer than plant matter. And at some point, you'll probably want to set up a production line that can feed them directly into your machines. Long inserters might be your friends on that one. Task inbound. Assembler. So now, now we got the assembler. Power with electricity to produce items in multiply quantities. In other words, even though you can handcraft anything, assemblers will make two of them in the same time it takes your portable tool to make one. And we can build a thousand assemblers, but nobody could ever build another you. Oh, right. We have a few of... These, these are the power floors. We're going to be making a number of, um, we're not going to make any power floors, I guess. Right. We don't have power floors yet. And uh, let's see. So we are going to start by making some power floors here. Task inbound. There we go. Power floor. Build to establish structural foundation and conduct electricity from crank generators. And this is where Satisfactory could learn a thing or two. Please, Satisfactory, make us some, make us some, uh, some, some foundations here. So these are all the logs that we just had to listen to. That was a little bit excessive, I think, for a start of an episode, just getting so many things. Uh, but we did get decipher the signal by placing some, uh, some power flaws. So we should be able to go up to this one. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Mind the voltage. There. So now we have a new location uh, on our map. And if we scan out here, you can see there are 
definitely some things in there. We are not going to go in there just yet because there's still a lot of things to do. We have uh, 63, uh, 63 science cubes. If you look at the science, and uh, what do we want to do? We want to unlock the assembler. Oh, yes. We want to do some bio bricks. Yes. And over here by where is it at? Let's uh, look at what else we have. Logistics. Long inserter. Oh, that's nice. Uh, tool belt. I'm not going to take that. Suit speed would be really nice. But I have to make sure that I get exactly the right things. Uh, see. Basic construction. That's important. Because that is where how we make spots. And crank operator. Good. I'm kind of inclined to also get this. Crank operator is a basic a power plant and this one means that they can, will connect to each other that's just really nice to have that let's uh, look at other things uh, that I might I mean tool belt mm, what's tool belt that is extra inventory nah but long inserters definitely we're down to 32 now and let's see what else we want here terraforming flatten don't care go through it and assemblers okay so we have assemblers Task now inbound. crank generator Activate with manual or automated rotation to produce electricity. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. So now we want to... The first thing we want to do is make the very first... Do we even dare calling it automation? Because it's just going to be a blob that creates uh, foundations for us. So here is a an extremely important thing about this game. Is that when you handcraft, you follow this recipe. Uh, let's take something like this the very basic things here this is one copper ingot into four copper wires all right good we know we get four wires from each copper ingot then but if we build great this to part, see you build one of those breaker but it won't work until you place a crank generator on a power floor connected to it and don't forget to crank it that's why we call it a i'm sorry you understand there yeah. local signal deciphered Ingress AS2013. More, more stuff. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Right, so if I put a crank operator and a crank operator, you can see that I, they will now connect. And they have to crank these every five minutes. And they produce 150 kilowatt of power each. This is insane. <laughs> Insanely low. But what I wanted to show you was this part. So... We have now consumed the first one, and then once this one completes, we'll see how many we get. We get eight. So, really, really, really important. You want to automate things and don't use uh, manual crafting. If you look at this, ta-da, we got eight from one. That means it's not just about it produces twice as fast. It also produces twice as much. So, definitely uh, a good and valuable thing and to do this. So, I'm just going to make... Here, yeah. this will be making some oh, output full. That is going to be absolutely ridiculous how, how quickly that will fill up. Let's see, can we get a blob, blob here? And I'm going to be taking this one, and we're going to be using a lot of inserters. Inserters don't require power, at least uh, this one's. Good, so this is my very first automation. It's not going to do anything, uh, not very much, but it will help us make the power flaws because we get twice as much power flaws from this and it's just so silly that I cannot I cannot get this supported fast enough there and I'm also going to make th there there it's just oops Ta -da! okay so now I have six inserters out six inserters in just trying desperately to fill this one up that's it um, hopefully that will be enough. So this means that now we have an automatic production of this as long as I have some resources. Uh, what I need to do is just build a large platform here with uh, our resources. I would like to go to this one, but yeah, well, let's build and let's just wait for this one to trickle out here a little bit more. So we built a few new platforms here. This uh, one is actually cranking out the platforms really quickly. I've also been converting a lot of my biomatter into bio bricks. So that is also a convenient little thing. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, build the stuff that was actually hmm, this. This is going to be our bus, right? So let's, let's just mark it right now as that's going to be our bus coming in here. 
And that's going to be the other part because yeah, we're going to build the bus. We're going to be, we don't have to build city blocks. We're going to build cavern blocks. No, we're not going to be make that, but uh, we're going to be doing something. Uh, these cranks here, I want to take those away because I want to make sure that I can make as many as I want sort of pretty easily. So we're going to be setting those. I have 10 of those. Um, and let's see that one. No, that one. So I, I can, how close can I make it? Well, let's just make it like this. Here, here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's Local all I have. Local signal deciphered. Ingress Whoop. RH1979. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Okay, so we get signal another signal. Triangulated. New location added to HUD. Exceptional dimensions. Exceptional dimensions. Now, I really want to make this thing. This is a gigantic thing. It's super, super cool. This is a core composer. We're going to get that uh, going. Um, I kind of think I want to make it. Let's make it here so that there should be room for another line of that. So what does the core composer do? It composes cores. Now, it takes the cores we have, these ones, and make it into... Uh, uh, just a giant tower by itself. That's pretty cool. It looks uh, really awesome. So what I want to do is is now make an ed another part of automation. And uh, let's see, six that one. Uh, this will be a little automation. You can't build it really close, so I have to build it like this. This will be where I store it. And if I have a few, what there? Let's see if we can build it. That one. You are making cores, you need some gears, and you need some uh, components. These components are coming from copper and iron, so we are going to get that one and that one, and then I am going to... Hmm. That's actually, like, remarkably close to that one. Huh. Uh, okay. Let's redo this. And actually... Get it straight off the bus. It doesn't matter if it is not as fast as I'd like, but I can. Here. Uh, let's see. Yes. And this one also needs to go. Just trying to figure out a way to get this done in an efficient way. So, what do we want to do? We want to make the cores, yes. And the number of things for the cores is three mechanical components. So, mechanical components have to be faster. This one will be gears coming from copper. And this one will be mechanical parts there coming from both copper and iron. A little bit more iron than copper. And then, do we have any longhand inserters? Nope. We want to. All right, so let's uh, wait for inserters. All right, so we make a long inserter <clears throat> because I'm gonna have copper on this side and iron on the other side. Here, and then this will be two copper. So out of these, then I'm gonna build. I have built one here. That's just the fast because it kind of feel like we need to have this fast, and. I wonder if that's gonna be fast enough to feed them in. Well, not if I do this. And here. There you go. These don't take any power, so we can we can do this. Look at that. They're actually spamming it. Well, spamming and spamming. And what I've done is I have put in a lot of stuff here, and I have put in a lot of stuff here. Eh, something. Good. So we don't we don't have the bus but we do have something now this is obviously really annoying that i have to crank this every five minutes so what we're going to do is we are going to go over here pick up that spawn and make sure that i get more here Oof, we are really running out that is going to be a big issue so let's continue down this path we have the rh and we have the as unlocked or at least identified so we're going to go to this location and we can see that right behind this there is something so let's uh, just see if we can punch through we can yay look at that and we can also this one has hey a battery hey, pack indeed sorry an accumulator substation i'll try to go easier on the recon slang 
It might help you guess at what those signal names are short codes for. Accumulators won't matter for a while, but get in the habit of scanning anything and everything you find in places like these. It can only help. There. That should allow us to build... I really don't want it there. I want it higher up. Isn't that a bit weird that I can't make it like this? Alright, whatever. Then I just do this. And... We're gonna explore it. Don't worry. But I want to connect it. There. Now there is a power floor all the way in here. So this one is now connected to our crank operators. That means the cranks as they're working, we are filling up the accumulator charge from whatever is on this floor. And we can then start just scanning all the broken ones. The broken ones need to be scanned and the ones that are not broken, they will be left there and they'll be working because now they're connected to my main grid. Really efficient. Uh, so let's scan all these. Let's actually go in here and see if there's something inside. Uh, inside the building. See, that one's working, so that's fine. Ooh, look if at that cube. If anyone else is still around, nice. they wouldn't be here. These places were pretty much built Mold and speed left too? alone. Eh, three crank generators. What is this? That is a... Oh, a hover pack. Oh, I like. This sector was a dream come true for hydroelectric power. It isn't surprising that we took accumulator construction seriously down here. I faintly remember power sources in other sectors that were even stronger, but they also tended to do things like explode, set things on fire, create giant clouds of poison. You get the drift. You can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned river. Good, so that means we need to do hydropower at some point. Which is nice. I think it's very nice that they give us a hint that uh, the crank power is not a permanent solution because that's a shitty permanent solution. Look at this thing. It's a cable. Look at that. One out of five cable. Isn't that insane how big that cable is? I have no idea what that's going to be. All right. I think we have uh, only... And I don't know what that is. That's just a substation thingy. Uh, so we have something in here. And it is now connected. That means our cranks don't need to, even if the cranks stop working, they will still be able to work for a little bit. Look at that cluster there. That is really nice. So at this point, let's start working on our on a bus getting started. That's going to be a little bit pretty simple because we've been we've already done something like that. We're going to be tapping the, let's look at that. Here's the iron and here's the copper. Let's tap those and get them on the bus. All right, so we are ready to make some iron smelting. And what I've done is I have put all of these in here, the storage. We're going to make an automation for this as well. Then I am going to, this is my very, very small bus. Uh, is it a mini bus? I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, uh, having this only where I can walk on it is kind of miserable. There we go, here. And then I will be merging it in here. So now I get fuel coming in on this belt. It'll go down here. And these are smelters. There are five smelters. I only need four, but I built five. Then I get my fuel going all the way in here and then going next to the smelters as well. So at this point, I should be able to grab some inbounds here. Uh, that's gonna be here and that's gonna be here. And then I'm going to output. Mm, yeah, unfortunately the output has to be uh, fast inserters, which is why I also have this uh, on f this fuel. So otherwise they can simply not empty fast enough. So it goes up here, up this line, and then it goes in. And here we don't have to use fast inserters because we just need to get it in. Fast inserters is really, const well, that's weird. Uh, really constraining there. And then I'm going to just accept that we only have slow outbounds here, here, here. And then we're gonna get, oh, uh, that's here. That has to be one more. Can I get one more? And then I know I shouldn't be making these, but soon I can stop making things uh, with the manual there. Good. So now we see our line of fuel coming in. And when we get the fuel coming all the way down here, then uh, let's make a little light here. Yay, look at that light. So here comes the fuel. Fuel goes in, starts mining of these six. That will go back up here and then start 
actually uh, consuming it. And then from here, we're going to be having a storage uh, because we hopefully are producing faster than we are consuming. So let's make sure that, let's say one, maybe like this, I guess. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a splitter. That was not what I wanted. Uh, but actually also something I need to take a look at and there that's really weird and then here we have another issue and that is I really want to make fast and but I can't though so I'm gonna have to do like this there so this means I'm gonna put my iron in here and that very little iron I have it will go out on these four inserters going out on the belt and hopefully just keep feeding down here uh, on top of that, whatever comes in, some of it will pass on and some of it will go in here. And at some point when the belt is full, I hope it will, then we'll start stockpiling into this box. Yay. And not much is coming in, but stuff is actually coming in. Great. So now I just need to repeat the same thing over here by the copper. And then uh, we should have our little bus going and we can start doing automation on the bus. And so our first smelting has now been completed for both iron and copper. It does take a bit of time to set up factories, but hey, uh, especially when you don't have enough resources. So what you can see here is we have a modest supply here. I'm going to be putting all of my iron in here or all my copper in here. And um, that's probably a mistake, but so be it. But I want to just flow it down here and then we have a bus. So now I have uh, things on a possibility to make things on both sides and what do i want to make well this is pretty absurd already so let's start with some of the things that i really should have been doing a long time ago we definitely have some cool things mass collect mass collect mass core composer processor unit we'll get that eventually uh, accumulator mm. hover pack that's the one yes and speed yes please so we got a hover pack we got tool belt sure that's good. We can't get this because we don't have the filter inserters. We don't have threshers. We have more biodense. Yes, please. We have smelting speed. Oh, yes. And I'm pretty sure there was also this is more speed <laughs> MDR. Mining drill speed. There we go. So mining drills get faster and smelting gets faster. So those are all things I really want. Let's see how many. We still have 269. Like as soon as you build something automated, it'll just keep going. So let's start on working on uh, what we want off the bus. I kind of have to avoid this stupid plant because I can't remove it. And I will be making here and here. This will be for the inserters. Inserters is the first thing we want to do. Most important thing. Get some inserters. We get two inserters for each craft and they will require some mechanical components. Mechanical components is more iron than copper. So we'll get make it on this side if it was more copper than iron i would build it on the other side good and then i need a box is that a box yes that's a box here and i guess we just definitely don't know two of those there we go uh no not not no no there we go yet here let's get that done and then if i want to make another build here i think i need to build a few more of these and uh, this will be the long hand inserters which just require the gear uh, the normal inserters plus more gears all right so let's get another one with gears out here here so you're also going to make what's called mechanical components cool and i will bet get an inserter here i'll get an inserter there and then i'll get a box here i will get two in and iron and copper so iron and copper in becomes a mechanical component in just a short time which will help feed into here this will not use as much uh, components uh, hold on let's see can you see here inserters three mechanical components oh that's gonna run slow but whatever it uh, it's one of those things that as long as it's going then it's gonna be fine now this is obviously gonna be idling a lot of the time so is there anything that we can use that we could build that we'd want to build with um, with those mechanical parts hmm oh yeah conveyor belts sweet let's make some conveyor belts and let's get that into uh, maybe only get one in here and then get two on the side they will build incredibly quick like so quick that it becomes a little bit silly oops there 
Hey, we're getting a hang of how to build factories a little faster. There we go. And you just need a recipe. There. And what do you need? You just need gears, which we get from, or not gears, but mechanical components we get from that one. And that's outputting the mechanical components. Some are going to go in here for construction. That is just not going to be able to keep up with this. Hmm. Okay. It feels really bad. Like, inserters are so slow in this game. It's crazy. Here. Get some long-handed. Yes, please. Get some... Yay! Nine of those. Great. All right. What is the next thing that's super important to make? Well, that is going to be... The base components. Power floor. Great. So, power floor is going to need gears. No, wires. I'm just saying random words. Um, let's get some wires in here. That's wires in here. So, let's get wire. And... That's good. And then we will definitely have issues with the production. Uh, oh. And this is why I build it. Like this. Inbound, 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 inbound. Out, 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 out. I don't think that's necessary. This is only produced... Oh, it's produced 10. That's the same as this one. I don't know the time, the cycle for this, but... And get some iron in. Great. Right, so that's actually the basic automation that we wanted to get done here. And we also have science automation. Oh, let's crank the cranks here. Crank it. There. The only thing we're missing is this one because this is running out and that's a little bit of an issue to say the least. We also need to make sure that we have an automation of this. That's going to be a little bit difficult because it's definitely going to be taking hmm, multiple... Maybe I can actually make it out here because I need to make it close to my limestone. So let's get a location here because we're going to use a lot of limestone. We now have our limestone mining and our issue is that it's really difficult to get it out fast enough. And uh, I have to do this kind of little hack because I only have two of these remaining. So we now have to make do with something else. Um, let's see. So I want to... Hmm. I definitely want to have something like this, but I'm kind of thinking we also need... Let's have a look. Like this, and like this. So this one is probably... like I'll be picking up a lot of this sometime, somewhere. Then... And then get all of this line. This is interesting. And that will be here. Yes. Get that going, and you are also going to go for the bricks, and then get that going. Good. So that's, I guess, the start. Um, I can also... No, I can't. All right, let's go grab some more. We do have our bus here, so that's great. Look at that. It's actually working. Yes, please. Sweet. Oh, we also have uh, less belts, so let's also get more belts. Look at that, 500 belts just picking up easy. And then we can now build here. So they are now ready to go in. And I'm going to go from the other side. I will get... Mm, this is tough. No, you know what, this one, I don't think it's going to be like this. I think I want to build that one. Yes. I think that's how I want it because this one will never come in on a belt. It'll just be coming in from either side. So we'll do this part here. Good. And then this will just be the output. I'll just make, make the output this way. And one, two, three, hmm, three, four. And inside here. Is that enough? I don't know. But I need to put in my my biomass here. And then I just need to get rid of the last ones. They will come in here. They'll get rid of those pretty easily. Good. So I am now going to have an output as well. This one needs to go up and... Hmm. 
How do I do this? And let's see. Oh, we are out of resources. So that goes in here. That means I need to turn this belt around. Hmm. Or we just wait for it to empty. I guess we just wait for it to empty. That should be easy enough. And there, crank. And you are pretty close to empty. Great. Let's get this one out. Because as far as I can tell, I don't need any of, uh, of the biomass over that location. We just need it for the smelters. And now the smelters are working. We got the biomass. And I will need to get output wise from the biomass as well let's get another output here and that will be there two outputs so we make sure that we get stuff that there output good so recap time lots of power lots of science automated we have the first stuff automated on a little bus here science uh, foundations belts inserters long inserters we have our automated Iron here, self smelt, uh, self feed, uh, self fed, smelting for iron and for copper. Down here, that is excellent. We now also have our biomass production that is pretty robust, and yeah, I think we're really good. So what we should be doing in the next episode is we are gonna go out, uh, but right before we end, I am going to show you a secret because there is a see. This is the reward for actually hanging around here for a little bit longer. Um, Let's see if I can find it. Mm, well, not really. Yeah, there, maybe. Whatever. Uh, yes, that one. Look at that thing. What is that? These are lights that I've placed. But what is that thing out there in nowhere's land? Let's go find that and see if it's worth it. Well, I, uh, I dug a hole. And um, I should be here. Very, very close. So let's try and see if we can find something here. Ah, look at that. See? Look at all this stuff. And we get some silver thorn coolant and some of that. Great. Hole temperature calibrated. Auto injection of coolant standing by. Here we go. And then we just respawn to get back to our base. Excellent. Look at that. That was a little uh, bonus thing for anyone who stuck around to the very end of this episode. There are way more secrets and uh, generally the idea about these secrets is that you want to find some places that have some little dots and then you see, okay, look at that. There's clearly something in there. Uh, then go explore. There's something under the waterfall. We can get to that one as well. This one is just my light that I've placed. And then you sort of go around and look for interesting things. Uh, and that's something that's a cool thing because you get some uh, really cool upgrades. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you have, uh, uh, if you want to see more, then I'm also streaming this on Twitch. So come on over to Twitch TV slash Nilos and in tonight, uh, in the evening, any evening basically at 8 p.m. Central European time. Then uh, we are streaming uh, other uh, lots of factory games. So come on and join and. Uh, should be awesome. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.